This is Star Trek, the original series set tour. It's a 13,000 square foot reproduction of the original soundstage that they shot the television show on. When you walk through these doors into this environment, you're aboard that vehicle of the future that you want to be a part of. I'm James Cauley. I'm the owner creator of the Star Trek set tour here in Ticonderoga, New York. We're doing our small part so that Star Trek can go another 50 years. It's a thrill, really, a kind of a kick to go back all those years. It is true to every detail. The attention to detail, he hasn't just done it. He's got it down to, like, know that yellow button goes there and the red one's there. And You look up at night at the stars and wish, I wish I was on the Enterprise, you know, and now you can be. No word to explain how amazing it was. Oh, it, that was ecstasy, like walking through it. That, I was all smiles the entire time. All of Star Trek fandom owes James Cauley a huge debt. There's really no words to really communicate to you what it's like having your hero here in your home. Well, he's a distinguished, enormously powerful person at Ticonderoga. He rules uh, Ticonderoga. At least that's what he's told me. <laughs> It was like, here kid, here's a new car. You, know, you get these blueprints and I've now got the instructions to do something that I've always wanted to do. So we started building and then you find as technology improves, the episodes are, are brought back out in a higher definition. So now not only do you have the blueprints, but you can go to the episodes and you can pause and print. So you can start to see things that you could never see as a child on television. Everybody's lived with this for 50 years. So you gotta get it right. You want everything to make them believe that they're in the television show. So we go above and beyond. We research to try to find what antique was used, what type of vintage aircraft button was used. Is this room magical? I'm sitting in the chair. You'll remember this one day when you're 22. <laughs> you're gonna say, there was this guy sitting in a chair remembering somehow. Star Trek has always been a, a very big passion. It really grew from you know, playing Star Trek as a kid, running around the neighborhood with your, your toy phasers and playing dress up. There's just something magical about turning on the television or going to the theater and seeing something that makes you forget about all the nonsense in the world today. Star Trek was very lovingly and masterfully done because it shows us this future where it doesn't matter what color you are, what size you are, who you sleep with, all that doesn't matter. You know, we're gonna get there together and it's gonna be great. Kirk to Enterprise, come in. My friends and I would get together and we would, you know, kind of make our own little Star Trek adventures here and uh, share them on the internet with each other. And I began to realize that what I enjoyed the most about being here was not just Star Trek, but the people that would come to participate, you know, how much I enjoyed the friendships and the camaraderie. And my goal was how do I share this with more people? I don't want this to be convention. I want this to be an experience. I want this to be something they, they will take home forever. This is exactly what Star Trek's about. It's about people who are vastly different coming together through this thing and realizing how much better we all are because of it. I've seen awe and wonder and such joy that I've seen people weep when they walk in and they say to us, I never thought I would be able to do this. And that makes it all worthwhile.